we doing? I'm back. I'm back from uh, the UK. I had uh, a four day flash visit down there. Two seconds ago, I was mental at this bit. Stop, 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 stop. Good lad. Back from the UK. Mental four days, like, but it was good. But non stop, absolutely non stop. It's a windy one today, and we've got a cleaner in, and it's been raining. So come here. So we'll see what the day will bring. But uh, it's nice to be back. So we've got to see longer. Is that better? Is that alright? That looks better. I think it does. Are you alright? I'm out with the dog and uh, let's get across the road. Come here. That's good. Let's go. So we're going to juggle with the dog today anyway. Have you ever been overwhelmed? Have you ever? So when you are overwhelmed, what do you do about it? Because that's what I was going to talk about today. Because sometimes it's just different mindsets from different people, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, I went to Manchester, and I will say it was a, sorry. I went to the UK, and it was a whirlwind. It was an absolute whirlwind journey. Like leave on the Friday, arrive Friday night, run about five o'clock, half five, and then get back. The flight get up on two o'clock on a Monday morning, and get to get the six o'clock flight all the way back. And then so I've got Saturday, Sunday really fully in Manchester. Uh, sorry. Saturday, Sunday, fully in the UK. Saturday, I'm up in Newcastle. Sunday, I'm driving down to Manchester to go and visit my dad and my stepmom. And I'm going with Alice, visiting Alice, and Alice is coming with me. And we're just going to have um, we're just going to have a nice time, bit of a road trip and stuff like that. And we went to um, we went to Affleck Palace in Manchester. I don't know if you've ever been, but Affleck Palace, it's like a it's quite renowned and well known in Manchester in the area really. It's uh, a bit bohemian place. Uh, it's a three story building, whereas you walk in, it's all, the floors are all uneven. It's all a bit like market stall type, individualistic um, shop selling. I didn't know there was that many different versions of black clothing uh, for people to try and get their own identities and stuff like that. And I'd been before with Alice, I went with Megan and Alice about a year ago. For the, that was the first time I've ever been in. And uh, to be honest with you, first time, I was actually quite overwhelmed. It was, uh, it was, it was really, really nice. It was uh, really something completely different. Something for me that was like, yeah, I really like this. And she, the kids loved it because it's something completely different to all the shops that they normally see. And we had a great time. We spent hours around there looking around and like every nook and cranny, looking at everything that goes on. So I thought this time, I said, we'll do it again. I'll go down and see, uh, see my dad and stepmom. And uh, I'll take Alice again back to Affleck's Palace. She had such a good time last time. And uh, all will be good. But that was the first time, really, she was overwhelmed going into a shop. While we were down there in Manchester, we were going to meet up with some family. And um, we got to, uh, they'd arranged to meet in this place, right? I'd never heard of it. They gave us a name. I expected it to be like a Witherspoons kind of place. And I walked in there, and as you can see from the pictures, it's not Witherspoons. It's actually a food hall with all different businesses all around the bottom and all across the top. And this is what really got me thinking about this, because Alice just turned around and said to me, she went, wow, I feel overwhelmed. And the reason why she felt overwhelmed, same as me, is that all these people walking around knowing exactly what they're doing. And we've just walked into a place and gone, what the, what's going on here? I don't, I don't understand this. So the initial feel of overwhelmment for some people might just turn around and just go, no, I'm not doing it, and just walk away and leave. And then it's what do you do with that feeling? I mean, we couldn't do that because we were meeting people anyway, so we, we couldn't do that. But what do you do with that feeling of overwhelmment? How, how do you handle it and how do you go about... Uh, is it conquering it? Or what do you do about it? So the other one... You come across it. You come across it really in, in a lot of stuff that you do in life, or I do anyway. And it's normally at the start of something. It's the start of something. Start first time I went to Affleck Palace. First time I went into this restaurant bar place. It's Old Smithfield Market apparently in Manchester. That's what that building was. It's a beautiful building. And, but it's normally when, at the start of something, like when I first wanted to learn poker, or I first wanted to learn video editing, or when Shelley turned around one day and she went, "Can you put an ending on a song?" and you download the latest video, sorry, um, music, editing software, and you go, right, so how do I do this? And you feel overwhelmed. 
and then it's how some people get too much they go no i'm away to me i just look at it and just go it's gonna be a challenge this isn't it it's gonna be a great challenge it's happened to me this weekend i was fortunate enough to receive a gift this weekend from some very good friends of ours up in uh, up in Scotland. Karen and Anne, thank you so much. Anne specifically, appreciate this. She turned, they turned around and they said, look, we've got a GoPro here that we bought a year ago and it's not been used. And, you know, it was meant to be done for filming, but not uh, not been used. I want it to go to a good home. And I went, I'd, you know, I'd love it. I'd love it, I'll, I'll pay for it. So I've been toying the idea of a GoPro. I thought I'll pay for it, I'll, I'll have a go with it. I'll toy with it and see how it works. And two seconds, let's just cross over for a diet. Every time, it's the quietest road in the world. I'm on the quietest road in the world, but every time I want to cross, there's always a freaking car. It's weird, it's bizarre, it's really strange. No matter what time it is, it's one of those ones that like, you spin me around. It's one of those ones that's like, it's just a law that there is a, has to be a car coming whenever I want to cross this road. Yeah, it is one of the most quietest roads. Bizarre. Anyway, um, where was I? You alright? So I flew to the UK and uh, Anne very kindly posted this uh, this GoPro down to me. And uh, I got told it had turned up and I was extremely excited about the fact that it's there. And I, the size of a GoPro, right? It's about, they're about that big. They're not big. They're about that big. The packaging that it comes in, well, you can see the case now. And the moment I opened it, with excitement, because I was excited, I got massively overwhelmed, because all these bits fell out of it, as you can see. There's loads of stuff. Now, what I think will most probably happen for some people is when they see that, they go, no, that's too much. It's too much, I can't do it. So what they then do from there is they just put it away in a box and just leave it on the side and don't get back to it. Well, as I look at that and I went, first initial was, I'm overwhelmed, massively overwhelmed. But then the second thought that comes into my head is, one day, a day will come when I know how to work every single piece of that, as if it's second nature. And that's what excited me. That's what excites me. So... Because of the whirlwind trip, I've not had a chance to look at it. I've not had a chance to own it. I just put it back in the case. I just brought it back home, back to the uh, Tenerife. And this week, I'm going to be looking at starting how to overcome the overwhelmment. Overwhelmment is that word? Of all of this technology and gear and accessories, and start to learn what to do with it all. So. Karen Ann, thank you so much. Anne, thank you. Um, I was like a kid at Christmas and I can't wait to give it a go. Uh, but in the meantime, it's just about how you feel about being overwhelmed, whether you are someone who can handle overwhelmment. Some people struggle with it, I think. Um, I get the initial, it was, it, it's actually the same, it's pretty similar to the last vlog really where the grenade lands, that's the overwhelmment, and then you just wait for the dust to settle and you start handling the dust. That's how I feel. So, with that in mind, the wind's blowing. Look at that for a view. That's our view today. I'll leave you with it. As always, you know what to do. And I'll see you on the next one. So some say about Affleck Palace, I wasn't overwhelmed the second time I went, that's, the, that's what I'm trying to say. But the reason being is this, we'd seen it, we'd already done it. So this time within 45 minutes, we'd already done it. Where well, the first time we spent about three hours around it. Affleck's Palace, where all the individual people of the world have a place to go so they can buy in batch, en masse, en masse their individualistic clothing. So they look individual, en masse, being served by people who say, sack the high street, yet they're on minimum wage themselves as cashiers. Bit cynical, isn't it? 
I need to, I want to be individual, so I need to go to there. Bit weird one, that, isn't it? Anyway, back to the vlog. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. I do feel Christmas has come early a little bit, for me, to be honest with you. I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy boy at the moment. I'll see you soon. All the best. Cheers.